Hey, what's going on, chess fanatics? It is the Rapid Rapid Chess Challenge, episode number 65, where we take 10 minute games in the pool and see how we wind up doing. Yesterday's game, we gained one ELO point uh, with a, a draw from a 1600 and some odd rated opponent. Uh, we're now back over 1600 ourselves, and we will be looking to continue to improve. Uh, I will have this weekend uh, a study guide, essentially, uh, what I'm looking to do and how I'm looking to improve. I'm going to check in on a weekly basis and uh, we'll trend the progress over time. Uh, it'll probably be fascinating to no one but myself, but hey, it's my channel, so that's how it's going to be. Without further ado, we're going to pop in there and see who we get today. Uh, opponent is 1577 out of Turkey. Okay, we'll uh, go with D4 in this scenario. Ah, interesting. Okay. You know what? We will switch up our strategy if they develop the knight out to f6. Okay, so they don't yet. I think what we will do is maybe enter into... Okay. So... Sometimes I like to just snap the knight off. Uh, I know it's a pretty common plan to also just develop the queen and look to uh, eliminate the bishop, but... Um, you know what, we'll just stick with regular development for now. I'm assuming our opponent's looking to potentially play something like uh, e5, or uh, probably d5. So in this line, uh, we're able to potentially look to bring the queen and the bishop out onto this diagonal here. Uh, we might want to consider castling queenside and then just hitting them with a pawn storm. Kind of tough to say at this point in time. We'll see what our opponent plays. Uh, right now we have what I consider to be a bit of a hybrid structure, something between the queen's gambit and, uh, and maybe some some sort of London where we did develop out here to uh, d3. Opponent definitely having a bit of a think here. Which gives us time to enjoy some coffee. Okay. We'll uh, just do some regular actual uh, Queen's Gambit stuff and bring the Queen out uh, to c2. And uh, the bishop here to e2. And see where we wind up castling. Still totally possible to go long in this scenario. Start ripping some pawns up the uh, up the board. Uh, take the knight off. Right now we have this pin. So not really any reason to break that at this point in time. Now if we take, we kind of open up this diagonal. Uh, we don't necessarily actually want to do that at this point in time so what to do you know what we'll just develop out here see if our opponent takes that's great we'll just capture with the bishop okay so our opponent wants to come out here probably take here but just bring a pawn up So oh, if we go here, takes, 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 takes. Where's this queen going? Pretty aggressive uh, play, I gotta say. We definitely could have prepped that with f3. Uh, maybe, maybe we still will. Assuming our opponent doesn't take. Hmm. Now where is our opponent going here? Hmm. I mean, it looks like they're kind of getting shredded apart here. But I could be wrong. Okay, so what happens if we take, take, 
mean, I'm not sure there's any need to. Okay, so we are pinned, I guess. I uh, guess not a lot of options here. So we'll take. Yeah, good move. Close things down. Now, how can we, you know what, what if we, I mean, what if we castle here, then what? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Backwards night attack here. There goes the queen. Tougher to see those backwards attacks sometimes, and uh, our opponent just winds up resigning. Uh, I feel like we had a really good position in that game, and uh, let's just jump in and see how we wound up doing. Uh, yeah, very, very consistent. 88.8% um, .8 overall. Uh, no mistakes, misses, or blunders, which is nice to see. I feel like quality of play has been uh, decent as of late. Certainly at least going up. Um, yeah, so always interesting playing against uh, King's Indian defense. Some lines I do like to take the uh, queen, or sorry, the, um, the knight off the board. But in other times I think it can actually be better to extract the bishop. I don't really have any hard or fast rules for that um, in this scenario. Uh, you know, obviously, if we go back a move or two, it just left uh, uh, left a piece hanging. I don't think there was much uh, much getting around that. And from there, uh, you know, it was reasonably smooth. We we're looking to just punch on through. It says we played at 1950, but yeah, I had a feeling like this backwards knight move might uh, might be missed because oftentimes uh, the opponent's going to be thinking while well, you're coming in. You want to make that check maybe, uh, defend this pawn for example, granted if we wanted to do that we likely would have started to uh, send these pawns forward, um, which would have been a potential uh, way to play this game were it to be extended anyway, right? Just get the rooks over here. Um, you know, with the position uh, this isn't really much of a threat, so if anything we, we probably would look to just start storming these up the board. and. Uh, um, yeah, probably just have a, a pretty smooth victory that way as well, hopefully. Uh, certainly not always guaranteed. Can screw pretty much anything up. I think I've proven that in the past. But today, uh, on this 65th day, we secured a victory. Uh, and we are now rated 16.08. Uh, hopefully trending continually upwards for the foreseeable future. Thanks a lot. I'll see you tomorrow.